Hey, what is up, YouTube? My name is Eton. Welcome back to another video. This video, guys, is how to install Pixmon 4.0.7 with Forge in the new Minecraft 1.8 updates. So, uh, yeah, the reason for this video is basically because I've been using the wrong Forge for the longest of times and might as well update my Forge in hell. Might as well make a video on it and how to do it to show you guys because I know a lot of you guys don't know how to do it and it's very, very simple. So th two things you need uh, are these two websites, uh, Pixmon Mod and files.minecraft.forge, the Minecraft Forge website. Um, for, for the first off, you're going to need to download Forge. So you come on the website, which will be in the description below, so definitely check the description for all these links. Anything that you might have a question to, it will probably be in the description below. And you're going to find the download recommended version. is the 11.14.3.1450 version, okay? That's what you want. And you're going to click installer, this installer thing right here. You're going to click that, okay? And then it's going to give you an ad focus link or maybe just some website where you have to just wait. So yeah, please don't click on anything and don't complain to me that you have a virus because it's totally your fault, not mine. And you're going to click skip and it's going to download. Save it to wherever you want. I recommend saving it to your desktop. That's just because that's where it's most easy. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to go over to the Pixmon Mod website. And uh, you're going to want to find the 4.0.7 1.8 recommended version. As you can see, the Forge link required is the one I just said is the 1451. Uh, so yeah, and you're going to click either download button that you want just for craps and giggles and why not. So let's go for the second one. So that, I downloaded the one on the right. We click the one on the right. So I suggest you do the same if you want to follow what I'm doing. And maybe if you want to be a daredevil and a risk taker, click the left one. It's not bad, I don't think. But I just clicked the right one. Okay, so now we're going to wait a few seconds and then skip ad. And hey, look, it's my video. Yay, it's my uh, shout out to myself for making this video. And uh, yeah, let's hey, watch it. YouTube, my name is Eatson. Well so you can now watch my video while you wait, which I think is pretty cool how they integrated that. And yep, you're going to click download Pixmon 4.0.7. After you wait, I don't know, it could be like less than 15 seconds, something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to download it to wherever you want. I suggest desktop desktop why can't I speak I don't know uh, so let's now click out all of these because we don't need them and now we have forge and pixelmon so what you want to do you want to double click on the forge I already did this by the way so I double clicked on the forge you're gonna make sure that this uh, little blue button here is under install clients and you want to make sure that's under your dot minecraft fi file it should already be here because I think that's what it's um, set to be so if it's not there, uh, I'll help you with that so if it's not there leave a comment down below it really should be there I don't know why it wouldn't be and then you're going to click OK. Since I already did that, I don't have to worry about that. And it's going to go through a bunch of stuff. Don't click Cancel. If it takes a long time, it might take a long time. Sorry, but just deal with it. If it, if it gets stuck, if there's something unsuccessful, uh, tell me in the comment section below. Um, yeah, so next, we're going to go into our Minecraft. And I've, I restarted everything on my Minecraft. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, you should be under now a Forge file. Or you could be under any file that, like, I had this 1.8 file that I was just playing quickly. Um, so, yeah. Now we have this Forge file. And it says, ready to update and play 1.8 Forge with the 1450. So then you're going to click play. It's obviously going to download anything that needs to download. And uh, it's going to hopefully take not too long of a time. Usually, with normal Minecraft, it doesn't take long. But since it's using Forge, oh my goodness, that's new. <laughs> um... So it's basically just installing everything that it needs to for you to actually add Pixelmon into the game. So here we go. We got flashing letters, of course, and then my, I was playing Mindflex earlier. So my, mind flukes. Um, so yep, now all you need, since it's all loaded up, we have Minecraft Forge in the bottom left. You can click Quit Game, and right down here in your Windows area, you can click your little Windows button on your keyboard. Remember, this is for Windows only, not Mac. I don't know Mac. Sorry. Watch another tutorial. We're going to type in percent, app, data, percent. I, yeah, yeah, like that. Percent app data percent. You're gonna go to your roaming file just like that, and you're gonna see a dot Minecraft folder right here. You're gonna double click that, but first, I suggest saving it to your favorites area or saving it over here, uh, anywhere you can, because if you're gonna need to go into your Minecraft folder for any reason to get screenshots or add resource packs or anything, I suggest having it in your favorites folder so you don't have to keep going typing in percent app data percent and wasting the time with that. Might as well just open your files and then go to dot Minecraft. So I have it saved on my favorites, but let's double click it here in the roaming file. And right here, this is exactly where we wanna go. So if you haven't noticed, uh, the dot minecraft folder normally doesn't have a mods folder so basically what forge is it just adds a bunch of mods so what you can do now let's lower this down a little bit what you can do now is you can open the mods folder and take your pixmon 1.8 4.0.7 from your desktop or wherever you have it and just drag it in here just like that and now you can close it keep it open whatever you want I don't think it matters but uh, let's open minecraft again 
I'm going to probably move that down here to my taskbar. Um, there we go. There we go. So now it is up and running. And make sure it, the profile is forged. Don't change the profile. Don't even touch the profile. Uh, the only way, the only thing that you should touch the profile with is you go to Edit Profile. And if you want to change the JVM arguments to change how much uh, RAM you want dedicated to this Minecraft file. So yeah, that's what I have. That's what I only recommend. So I usually run four gigs just because I can. I'm gonna quickly go over here and uh, switch this to two gigs. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Now we're at Forge. And play. You don't have to do what I just did, guys. That was just to change your RAM. So if you have any questions about RAM, why it's lagging, uh, one, your computer could be awful and have very little RAM. So right now, what it's doing is just constructing Pixelmon. As you can see, it's uh, under, it's trying to understand the Pixelmon mod. And this might take a while. This definitely might take a while because Pixelmon is a big mod, a big mod with lots of files and lots of items in it. Um, so yeah, it might take a little bit. So yeah, I love how this uh, new Minecraft Forge thing is like this. They totally change this. This is really cool. It's like the forge because it's like you're hitting an anvil. It's pretty cool. Alright, there we go. So now instead of three mods loaded, there's now four mods. So we can actually check the mods and you can see that Pixelmon now is ready. So what we're actually going to do, guys, I accidentally just clicked out of my Minecraft. One second. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, what I was about to say is that uh, what we can do, we're actually going to go on my Pixelmon server. So I'm going to kind of give my little Pixelmon server a shout out. So if you are viewing this for the first time, definitely hit that subscribe button. Definitely click that like button. Uh, I was going to do this every single time, so I guess every time you load it, it's just going to load it every single time, so that kind of sucks, it might take a while, um, but yeah, so if, you're, if, you, if you are new to my, to my channel, my lovable voice, then uh, yeah, there is a video in the description below, and probably an annotation on the screen, that you can actually join my Pixelmon server, it is updated to 4.0.7, we are the best Pixelmon 4.0.7 server out there, and uh, yeah, so hopefully I won't freaking click the X button now, now what we're going to do, head to multiplayer, I didn't actually add my server, so yeah, here is my server IP. <laughs> okay, there it is, there it is. We got 11 people on right now, so shout out to all these people on the server. Let's go on the server, and let's actually see if this Pixelmon 4.0.7 has worked. Uh, hopefully it's worked. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below, or tweet at me. My Twitter is obviously in the description below, and it's going to be a little bit laggy. I'm used, to, I'm used to having Optifine, so yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Shout out to everyone on the server, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit laggy right now just because I don't have Optifine. Everything looks so shitty without Optifine and my and my texture pack. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool and everything. So hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if this has helped you in any way, definitely uh, hit that like button. Uh, and uh, yeah, come on my Pixmon server. It's pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm I'm in spectator mode for every reason. Hey, look at my head. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's basically it. My name is Eton. I will see you guys for another video.